I was the atypical person who did not know anything about peripheral artery disease. Um, there was a health fair uh, actually held by uh, Dr. Facretti's office and his team. And so I said, well, maybe I need to check that out. Since I have diabetes, I said, you know, it's probably a good idea. So I just went to the health fair. They did a preliminary test of everyone who attended the health fair. And from there, um, they suggested that certain people call for an appointment if they saw certain things in the test. And so I did. Um, I was one of those and I called for an appointment, came in and uh, they tested me and said, yes, you, you do have PAD and, and, and you need to uh, consider taking care of it. So that's, that's about how it all got, got started. And from there, uh, I eventually got scheduled for the surgery. And um, we, we did the surgery. And things went well, except uh, it wasn't that their treatment didn't go well for me, but um, I had a pedicure. <laughs> and uh, someone nicked me. And being a diabetic, things don't always heal the way they should. And so, even though my circulation was pretty good on that particular leg, uh, it did not heal the way it was supposed to. I got a wound. I eventually uh, lost a toe. But the good news is I did not lose a foot. And that was because I eventually did have to have um, a second surgery. And I had that second surgery uh, because I think I wasn't controlling my blood sugars as well as I should have. And all of this, uh, with peripheral artery disease, all, a lot of things have to come into play. Really pay attention to peripheral artery disease because it can be really serious. Had I lost my entire foot, I don't, I don't even want to think about that because I think it would have been devastating for me um, mentally and, uh, and physically. Advice for people that may be suffering from uh, symptoms or, or just have pain in their legs and, and don't know why they have pain in their legs, go to a doctor. Don't, don't just say, oh, it'll go away or gee, if I put some alcohol on it, maybe it'll be okay or whatever. No, don't do that. Go and find out what's wrong with your leg and get to know what the symptoms of PAD are. That's the advice I would have. And then when somebody tells you, yes, you do have peripheral artery disease, don't just go home and say, oh, well, I'll do something about it in a couple of weeks or a couple of months because it, it's a bad disease, okay? And it can really cause you to have bigger and better problems. Take it seriously and do something about it. You just feel like everybody is right there at your fingertips, so to speak. So if you are feeling uncomfortable, you don't have to wait. The nurse is standing right there. They're waiting for you to say something. You know, do you, do you need me or do you need this? And they're constantly checking. Whereas in the hospital, there are other people that they have to be concerned about, you know. I like this setting better.